Well, it is officially a very crazy time, and I hope that everybody who might be watching this video is finding a way of coping. Uh, if you're stuck at home, hopefully all of you are remaining healthy, and you're doing things to do your part in this crucial time, including things like social distancing. Now, if you are stuck at home, one of the things that you might end up doing is a lot of gaming, and that's exactly what we're talking about in this video. Now, quick thing I do want to let you know is that I am coming back to gaming content in general here, but also on my other channel, which is a gaming-centric channel called JV Plays Games. You might notice a wallpaper right here uh, for Final Fantasy VII. I'm super hyped for Final Fantasy VII Remake, and I played the demo, half of which was here on my channel, and then the other half was on my gaming channel. So make sure you check those out in the description below and in the links in the card above. So with that said, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? Here are some gaming examples here with the Oppo Find X2 Pro. So we're going to showcase mainly the screen in this video, but also I'll talk about some of the games that I've been playing recently that you might be interested in, especially if you have some time to kill on your hands. One other feature about this phone that I'll quickly tell you about, though, is the VOOC charging. This is the 2.0 version of VOOC charging, and it is incredibly fast. I had to get this thing charged up just for this video, and I plugged it into the VOOC charger for like 20 to 30 minutes. I went from basically 15% all the way back up to 90% right here. That is awesome. But let's go ahead and pop into the first game on this list, and actually, it is the sponsor of this video. It is Raid Shadow Legends. If you want a game that is gritty but still easy to pick up, Raid Shadow Legends is a good fit. See the links in the description below for some awesome rewards. There are a ton of different modes in this game, but the highlight is a myriad of champions that you can use to customize your team. There is also the fully voice acted story mode campaign, which is enough to keep me coming back for more. Now, the combat system is easy to pick up. Each champion has a few unique abilities that you can use based on the weaknesses of your enemies, the animations are smooth and enjoyable as the battle unfolds, and then after all of that you can head over to the tavern to showcase and upgrade the champions and their abilities for a more powerful team. Now Raid is available both on mobile and desktop, but of course you're seeing me play the game on the Oppo Find X2 Pro right now, and now the highly anticipated battle pass is on. Season 1 is live and you can win awesome rewards, including free energy refills, gems, upgraded artifact sets, and new epic and legendary champions by fulfilling the daily and weekly challenges. Now, the link in the description will get you 100,000 silver, 50 gems, an energy refill, and the epic champion adjudicator. It's all available for the next 30 days, so make sure you jump in. You will be able to find all of that treasure in the game's inbox, so use the links in the description to get a head start in your Raid Shadow Legends journey. Thanks again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. So that's Raid Shadow Legends, but there is one thing I want to showcase real quick, and that is a menu that you can access by swiping down from the top corners. Once you get there, you have a number of different icons already, and you can swipe down again to take a look at some other stats. The FPS is going to be 60 frames per second for most games, but there is also the engine in the display settings that will try to ramp up the motion, that way you still get that really smooth 120 hertz refresh rate being taken advantage of. You get a note up here for showing your battery life and also the strength of your internet connection. This is going to be important for those of you who play a lot of online games like Call of Duty, which will be the next game in our list. Enemy inside. <laughs> Already sucking. Wow. One other thing I should mention is the game space. It is an app in here that allows you to put all of your games into one space. So you hit that. Uh, there's actually a nice boot up animation for the app, but I was already in it. Basically what you can do here is do things like turn on the different block notifications or reject call settings. And then the other thing you can do is hit this button here and actually cater the usage to what you want to have for your gameplay. Balanced is pretty much the default, obviously, but you can get into a competition mode, which will actually boost the performance of the game based upon what is in the game space, and you can add these games all throughout. Uh, the other thing that you can do is go to a low power mode, which will give you a little bit less performance, but you should still be able to play all of your games pretty well, uh, and it'll give you a little bit more battery life, as you can see it changing based upon which one I select. 
The next game that I wanted to talk about is a more recent game, which is an adaptation of an anime that is on Netflix. It's called Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross, and I think it's actually a really good gacha game. Uh, now, gacha games tend to be very similar in terms of what they do and how they provide their rewards, uh, but on top of all of that, it is a pretty nice turn-based action title uh, that is based on an anime and is actually very faithful to the story of that anime. I've actually never watched Seven Deadly Sins on Netflix, and this game apparently is going to be very faithful to the story, which means that in playing this game, I get to experience the anime. So it's kind of nice that they do that here, and uh, I'm going to keep playing it because I do want to know what this somewhat irreverent story is like. Alright, you probably saw it right here on the table just a second ago, but I'm going to go ahead and bring out one of my favorite tools in order to do mobile gaming. This also works on PC as well. This is one of my favorite gaming peripherals of all time. This is the 8-Bit Doe SN30 Pro Plus. It's like a PS4 controller and a SNES controller had a baby, and this is what came out. This is the perfect controller for Switch, PC, and mobile gaming. Okay, you guys probably all know the drill. You have this little clamp that is unfortunately sold separately, but it's not all that expensive. This entire setup right here is actually quite affordable and it's one of the best ways to play games that uh, support controllers on Android. It's awesome. And this is actually going to be my opportunity to talk about why I love mobile gaming in general. Uh, it's that it's so versatile. And as phones are becoming more and more powerful, you have so many different uh, experiences that you can have just by using one device. We went through the obvious choices for mobile gaming like Call of Duty and gacha games like Seven Deadly Sins. But also there are a lot of retro games that are available that you can use, especially if you have a controller, a compatible controller like this. Enter Grid Autosport. This is a game that originally came out in 2014, but it has since been ported to a lot of other systems, including the Nintendo Switch and most recently Android and iOS. The best part about this game is it's a gorgeous racing game, and I know there's no shortage of racing games in the Google Play Store, but this is a fully single player game. It's a driving simulator that has all of the trappings of the original version of the game. I got one more for you as far as the controller is concerned. Let's take a look at something even more classic. That would be Castlevania Symphony of the Night. To be honest, I've actually never, I've never played this game. So I'm a little bit new to this. Uh, let's see if we can have some fun with this before I call it on this video. Fight for them and die for their sins. So that's a game that's not too old that you can play on an Android device. That to me is pretty incredible. But let's not forget about all of the other classic games that you might really enjoy, like a bunch of Grand Theft Auto games or the classic Final Fantasy games. You can even go all the way back to games like Dragon Quest, which I'm actually personally playing right now without a controller because it's one of those games that was adapted to a vertical screen, which is great to see because it makes it more accessible. 
So overall, the gaming experience on here is top notch, and it's mostly because of that display. The specs in this phone also are no slouch. You have the Snapdragon 865, plenty of RAM, which is the reason why I am able to lock games in the background. That way it's easy for me to come back to my gameplay. This is something that I do with Dragon Quest VIII in particular, since the save system is not, well, let's just say it's not really mobile friendly. And there are a plethora of other games that are going to be coming out, but I know that some of you out there are still hooked on a particular game that you want to see in every one of these gaming videos, and that's of course PUBG Mobile. I'm going to go ahead and play one of the newer modes that are available now in PUBG Mobile, and we'll just sign off on this video using that gameplay. So, for the last portion of this, I just want to go ahead and thank you once again for watching this video. Let me know what you think about the gaming experience on the Oppo Find X2 Pro. Let me know how you felt about it watching this video, and get into the comment sections down below to let me know your thoughts. From there, I hope again that all of you are staying healthy, keeping yourself safe, practicing social distancing and whatnot. And honestly, if you are stuck at home right now and you're looking for stuff to do, mobile gaming allows for a lot of different experiences. And that's why I wanted to showcase a bunch of different games in this video, all of which you can use on any Android device. But of course, we were using the Oppo Find X2 Pro in particular here, mainly because it has top-notch performance and an overachieving display. Look forward to more videos like this here on my channel and make sure you subscribe to it so you can keep up with everything that I'm doing. From there, drop some likes on this video and get into the comment sections like I said before. And until my next video, I would just remind you to enjoy your mobile gaming, but also enjoy your tea, everybody.